Welcome to Notkill. We have got a bit of racing royalty around the table right now. Taylor McKenzie, Neil McKenzie, Ron Haslam and Leon Haslam as well. It's great to have the guys in the back room off the Thursday before the Superbikes. And uh, let's start with the riders. First of all, Taylor, uh, good to have you back. We had a, a, bit, a little bit of a chat this morning. We were talking about how your bikes maybe made a few steps forward after the Isle of Man TT. Looking forward to this weekend in Notkill in front of your home fans and maybe feeling a little bit of pressure. I always love coming here, really. It's... We spend a lot of time at Dad's Superbike School up here, so I get plenty of laps in during the year. And I think because a lot of riders don't journey up during the year, it kind of ends up being a bit of an advantage to me. So um, I can't wait to get going. It's looking like it's going to be dry all weekend, which is nice for here because normally you end up with a bit of mixed weather. So we should get plenty of time on our new bike, and I'm hoping we can make some good steps forward this weekend. Leon, first of all, I'm just happy to see you in one piece after what we saw happen to you at Alton Park. Massive bit of bad luck with, with James's bike failing in front of you. Uh, no lasting effects from that? Are you all in one piece and good to go? Yeah, um, you know, I was quite happy. I, I managed to walk away from it. Um, no injuries and it, it feels like a long time ago now. But uh, yeah, you know, um, so up until that point, we'd, we've pretty much had a really good start to the season. And, uh, you know, for me, this is a crucial part of the season. You know, knock hill uh, and the next few rounds is kind of where you need to accumulate those points. And for me, there's no better place than knock hill. It's one of my favourites and uh, I always seem to go really well here. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to get the weekend going and uh, hopefully we can see a big crowd and I can give them on a good show. We saw you doing a World Superbike round as well and I'm going to let you hold the microphone because I'm not like Hodgie, I've not got the same biceps in, but we saw you doing a good World Superbike round at Donington. Happy with that? Yeah, it couldn't have gone any better. Um, we didn't have any testing. We got stopped from doing any tests on the bike, which was frustrating. Um, but yeah, it, it was good. Um, it's the first time all year that a non-factory Kawi or non-factory uh, Kawasaki was on the podium. So to finish second... Uh, I was over the moon, uh, kind of frustrated, as you saw my little war dance I did in race two when I got wiped out. But uh, yeah, overall, I was over the moon. I felt like I was uh, good again for maybe a top three in race two as well. And, um, you know, it was nice just to go back and, and, and to be able to achieve that. Um, it took me a fair bit of time to get used to the old electronics again. But um, in general, you know, we had a really good weekend. Ron Haslam is... Uh one of my heroes when I was growing up, I've got to say that, you know, when you were racing the yeah. 500 Grand Prix, I was just I was just a wee lad at the time, but I do remember yeah. it very, very well. We've got old guys racing this weekend. Uh, you're going to be just a spectator having a watch. Um, what do you remember about the, the Pro-Am Challenge when it was kicking about when it's uh, original form? Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I think, uh, you know, it's because everything were equal and uh, everything was, was for that. It was just everybody wanted to prove themselves. And because they're on the same bike, they just put everything in there, you know. Um, it was an unbelievable spectator sport, you know. Uh, you knew that there was going to be such a battle there, we all all being on the same bike. I think uh, Neil's going to get the same problem here. Um, I know uh, there's a couple that's uh, out to get him, so, uh, you know, it's going to need to watch it. So you're the captain of the Scottish team, Neil. Alan Carter's the, the captain of the English team, and he comes with a bit of a fighting pedigree. Um, where do you see yourself <laughs> ending up this weekend? Because I know you've talked a few scenarios through in your head that you're going to clear off in the distance and nobody's going to see you, but there's also another one in your head as well where you're maybe running mid-pack. Yeah, that's my dream scenario, but as racing, as we know, that never really works out that. We all believe that we're going to win, but uh, so this weekend's no different. But my other scenario is that doesn't happen, and I come into the hairpin about fifth or sixth in the last lap thinking, how embarrassing is this for me at, at Not Kill? Um, and then how am I going to... Get to the front before the flag. So, like Leon says, just just get your leg off, let it brakes off, and then shut your eyes and yeah. see what happens. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll go. We're all a load of silly old boys, 35 years on, trying to still live the dream, um, thinking we're just going to have a bit of fun. But you know, when the visor goes down, the old the old race are still in there. So, um, and I'm sure Ron would be the same. We'll just get our heads down, try and uh, avoid the the carnage, and uh, try and get to the flag. How many times have we at Knock Hill brought you out of retirement now? About 15, 16, including this year. Yeah, I retired officially in 2000, so this is 2017, 17 years on, and you're still dragging me out, forcing me to go racing, to go around here and forcing me to have a bit of fun and enjoy some old bikes. So, but you, no. you picked yourself a very strong Scottish team, though. You know, you've, you, you, you've done the picking here. You cherry-picked some of the best. I was in charge of that. It was funny because I was asked to put a team together, and I sent out eight. Uh, seven or eight text messages seven came back yeah we're up for it let's do it where did we sign so it was, it was dead easy and that was it it was sorry within about 10 minutes um the english squad in my opinion not so strong so maybe they're a bit 
a bit nervous at coming up here, but we'll see. There's there's Alan Carter there, and he is. <laughs> that is the key. He could do such a job. He could wipe out if if us seven are in front. He could take us all out, win, and then bring the English team home to a victory. That could happen quite easily. <laughs> Well, let's see how it goes, guys. It's going to be Father's Day on Sunday, so what better way to take your father, treat him to a day at the races here at Knock Hill Racing Circuit for the MC British Superbikes. We wish T-Mac, Taylor, we wish you the best of luck. Brother of Taz, I'm Leon, let's even get another win for you like you did last year. Let's see how it goes, guys. Remember, you can get your tickets online at knockhill.com or book them via the girls. Give them a phone in office on 01383723337. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later on. Thank you very much. Cheers.